In the American cultural landscape, one of the most striking evolutions from the 1940s to the present day is the change in how men perceive and present their bodies. There was a time in the 1940s and 1950s when it was commonplace for men to swim and shower nude in communal spaces, flaunting a Speedo-style swimsuit on the beach without a second thought. But today, this has significantly changed with men advocating for private showers and opting for more conservative, baggy shorts for swimming or beach activities. The reasons behind this change are multifaceted, encompassing influences from technological advancements to sociocultural shifts. The mid-20th century was a time when all-male spaces like the YMCA thrived. These places offered men a chance to bond and build relationships away from societal pressures, allowing for open expressions of masculinity, which included casual nudity. However, political and legal actions by feminist groups emboldened by the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and Title X of the Education Amendments Act in 1972 forced organizations like the YMCA to become co-ed. This ultimately culminated in a 1984 lawsuit in Grand Rapids, Michigan, where a group of women successfully challenged the YMCA's male-only policy. This lawsuit led to many other traditionally single-sex organizations following suit. In this way the feminist movement significantly reshaped societal norms by dismantling men's private spaces. Spaces such as locker rooms, sports clubs, and dormitories, previously normalized male nudity amongst men. In these fraternal environments, men were accustomed to being nude amongst each other. Shyness was considered atypical and even feminine. However, as these spaces began to admit women due to the societal shifts triggered by the feminist movement, social attitudes were flipped on their head. Younger generations of men unaccustomed to being nude in public came to feel uncomfortable with public nudity, never having been socialized to feel at ease among their fellow men. Lacking socialization by their male peers, discomfort with their own bodies was adopted and became internalized. Over the decades, media portrayals have significantly shifted the ideal male body image. While the mid-20th century often celebrated the everyman physique, defined by average, attainable bodies, today's standard is starkly different. Movies, TV shows, and advertising campaigns now commonly showcase muscular and well-defined physiques putting pressure on men to conform. For example, superhero movies like Marvel's Avengers series prominently feature actors with highly sculpted bodies. Similarly, advertising campaigns, such as those by brands like Calvin Klein, have historically emphasized an ideal of toned muscularity. This continuous exposure to perfect bodies has exacerbated men's self-consciousness about their bodies, especially in public spaces. With economic prosperity, American society has seen a significant shift toward individualism over the past several decades. This cultural shift has been reflected in many aspects of life, including privacy. The importance placed on personal space and boundaries has grown, impacting how American men interact in communal spaces. In the 1940s and 1950s, the aftereffects of the Great Depression and World War II had cultivated a communal sense of living among many Americans. Financial constraints and a collective spirit led to more shared experiences and spaces, from housing to transportation and recreational facilities. The relative lack of personal wealth and space created an environment where privacy was not as highly prized or as expected as it is today. In this context, Activities like swimming or showering in communal spaces or wearing less modest clothing were common and accepted. These shared experiences were not only seen as practical, but they also helped build a sense of community and camaraderie among men. These were spaces where men could interact freely and openly without the constraints that the broader society may have imposed. Fast forward to the contemporary era, and the distinct shift is observable. Economic growth, increasing prosperity, and the burgeoning of the middle class have reshaped Americans' lifestyles and, by extension, their expectations of privacy. The post-war economic boom led to a greater emphasis on individual homes, personal vehicles, and private spaces. The communal showers and swimming pools of the past have largely been replaced by private bathrooms and individual or family swimming pools. This shift in living conditions has had a profound impact on attitudes towards nudity and body image among American men. Technology, 
especially the rise of the internet, smartphones, and social media platforms, has unintentionally exacerbated body image concerns and privacy issues. In today's digital age, anyone can capture an image or video and share it with millions worldwide in seconds, sometimes without consent. Incidents like the iCloud leak in 2014, often referred to as the fappening, where hundreds of private photographs, many containing nudity, were disseminated across the internet, highlight the potential breaches of privacy in our digital era. This constant potential for non-consensual exposure further complicates men's comfort with their bodies and nudity. The ubiquity of recording devices and the rise of social media platforms have also played a role in making men more conscious about their bodies and privacy. With a simple click, anyone can capture an image or video and share it with millions across the world in a matter of seconds. The transition from casual nudity in male exclusive spaces to heightened body consciousness and privacy concerns represents a significant shift in American cultural norms. This transition, fueled by the feminist movement of the 1960s along with changing beauty standards, increased prosperity and technology, profoundly altered how men perceive and present their bodies. As we continue to navigate the 21st century, one must wonder what future societal and technological shifts will further shape our attitudes towards the men's bodies. Much obliged you hopped on board for this snazzy trip through American life in the 1940s and 1950s, all captured through nifty vintage photographs. If this flick's got your motor running, don't be a square. Click on that jolly bucket of bolts to subscribe to the channel for more top drawer content just like this. Thank <laughs> you.